The Department of Conservation in Fonterra have been working together for 10 years, trialling tools and approaches for freshwater to thrive in farming landscapes. And one thing we've definitely learned is there is no quick fix or silver bullet to this. So early on in the partnership we invested um, quite a bit of time in farm environment plans. They're a great start, they help farmers to identify where their environmental issues might be on their farms and give them practical actions to get started on how to solve those. But really one of the um, key lessons out of Living Water is taking a catchment approach um, is a much better way to then know exactly where your issues are and how to prioritise um, the actions to take so it makes it more efficient and effective. Across the different um, catchments that we're working in, we've used a variety of techniques to understand what the issues that are being faced within the landscape are. For example, we've used water quality monitoring where throughout the network we take samples of the water and look at what sort of contaminants there are. We have undertaken catchment condition surveys to gather information about different elements within the landscape. These have people physically on the ground in the catchments recording things like fencing setbacks, critical source areas, extent of riparian planting, bank stability and potential fish passage barriers. We held interviews with landowners to discuss their land and where areas flood or water flows over time. These can then be repeated to measure changes over time. We partnered with local iwi and hapu to undertake cultural health assessments identifying values, threats and opportunities for restoration. This data can then be used to report on the cultural health and maori of a freshwater environment. In Wairua, we've been working closely with the local hapu, who now complete monthly water quality runs and carry out fish surveys. We have trialled real-time water quality monitoring sensors to provide us up-to-date information about catchment water quality over the network so we don't even have to leave the office. We've used physiographics to map the flow of water both above and below the ground at different flow volumes. More recently, Landscape DNA, a spatial mapping tool, builds on physiographics. We now know that the landscape characteristics of the land can have more impact on the outcome for water quality than what the farmers are doing on the land. So understanding that gives you such a great opportunity to really identify where you should focus your effort and actions to improve water quality. So one thing we've definitely learned through our trials with Living Water is that um, everything is connected, like the land, the water, what we do on the land and how that impacts on the water. And so trying to deal with the issues one by one, so say just dealing with sediment or just dealing with, with nitrogen doesn't work. We need to take a whole system approach and, and combine up the, the solutions together to get the best result. With our trials in Canterbury with the Araria catchment, uh, we did a number of on-farm trials, trialling some sediment traps and bioreactors in a two-stage channel. Um, and these, these do work, uh, but what we realised is that actually in, in that kind of lowland environment where the whole water network is connected, it used to be a wetland that's been drained, we really need to look at the whole landscape system and how that's all interacting. And so we moved to doing a project in co-design with, um, with the runanga there uh, and the council and some others and worked on a plan where we basically prioritised where efforts should go and some of that's on private land and some of that's on public land and basically produced a plan, an intergenerational plan, to look to restore or remediate that, um, that catchment. It's a large scale problem, it's an ecological problem. We need to take the time to understand each other and work together because no single organisational sector has all the skills, knowledge and information to solve this problem on their own. By partnering together and using our unique strengths, we can accelerate freshwater improvement for Aotearoa New Zealand.